You know, there's so much going on this weekend in town, as always, here in San Antonio. So whether you're celebrating the first week of school, maybe you're, uh, the last summer blowout before classes start for some, there's something for everyone, right? Yes, and one thing you can do is head to the racetrack. Oh, yes, but this isn't your average day at the Downs. These little dogs are taking over with the annual Chihuahua Derby at Ritama Park. And Jerry and Catherine Pruitt, pet parents of two of the racers, are getting ready to compete. And we have a little pre-race action happening here. Welcome. So who did you bring today? I have Victoria. We call her Tori as our short name. Uh, she loves Frappuccinos. Uh-huh. And uh, she was actually in a first edition coffee table book <gasps> oh. of the Dogs of New Braunfels Adopters. Whoa, that is big so time, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> and a puppuccino, what is it, a puppuccino? A it puppuccino so is whipped cream, and everybody that goes to Starbucks knows that puppuccinos are the way to, t to treat oh. your dogs. Uh, and so, you have a name for her, right, Fiona? Or yeah, or is it Twister Tori, Twister I think, Tori. is what up. Twister <laughs> Tori. Yeah. And, and so as far as her personality, is she, is she timid? Is she... She's usually pretty outgoing, mm -hmm. uh, but right now I think she's just more scared of all the people around here. And, oh. But she okay. goes every day to Starbucks, and she sees people every day, so I don't know why she's acting like this. Oh, it's probably kind of just all the lights. All right, number right. three. Okay, who do we have next? This is Willow, and she we've had her about two months, so she's still getting used to us. Um, but her favorite thing is people food and green beans. She yeah. loves green beans. Green beans. beans. And we adopted her, and now she's found a home. We actually adopted her within 24 hours of her becoming available for adoption. Oh, and of course she is fueled by veggies. That's yeah. number eight. And last but not least, who do we have? Hey, we have Peggy here. Peggy's a foster with Texas Chihuahua Rescue. She's actually not going to be racing at the track tomorrow because she's over 10 pounds. But she came out today to show you how it's done. All okay. right. Well, I think they're they're just about ready. Yeah, right? think just about itching? ready. I think uh, so. When 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 they go to the track, do they just line them up and just let them go? Right. They put them in boxes. Uh huh. And then the pet parents walk to the other end, and the dogs race to the pet parents. Okay. So All right. Waiting for them or something. All right. So here we go. Okay. This is going to be the SA Live warm up got one right race. Okay. Down. Here we go. Yes, We're passing down. them down. Okay. All right. I've got Whirlwind Willow here, number eight. Hi, sweetheart. Okay, so we've got the pet parent down there at the end. Okay. All right, oh uh, ladies and gentlemen, dog. and your dogs. Okay, oh. okay, okay, I got a fucking dog. Ready, three, two, one, go, 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 Good, oh. finally making it to the finish line. That is a win, place, and a show. <laughs> All right, so come on back go down. Back down. <laughs> We're going to be talking to, of course, uh, Catherine here. And that was great. <laughs> tell us, tell us the reason behind the behind the race. Sure. So it's uh, awareness, obviously. This is the fifth year we've done it with Ratama, and every year it gets bigger and better. Excuse me, I'm going to pick her up before she walks <laughs> off. Um, we have a lot of fun. It is a bit of a fundraiser uh, where Thomas shares some of the re registration um, fees with us to help uh, our rescue organization help more dogs. Okay. And what do they receive? The winning dogs, do you have some So the, each um, winner of each race gets this really pretty Chihuahua medal. And then the final three winners for second and third gets a dog, a golden dog bowl. Yeah. And of course, the, it will benefit, as we mentioned, Texas Chihuahua Rescue. And can people actually place bets on the dogs? No. No. Okay, frowned <laughs> upon. All right, I got that $5 bill back. <laughs> All right, and can fans bring their own dogs? You cannot. Okay. Unfortunately, the horses are there, so mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. But you're always looking for foster families. We are right? always needing foster families, volunteers, <laughs> you name it, and we need help all the time. We're on track to do 1,000 dogs this year, so. And you have an event coming up in the fall. Me this, too. I know. I remember the first time you guys put on this event. Okay, and this and is the third year. Yeah, and the first time Har Harvey came and right. kind of caused us to move it. But this is our third annual uh, golf tournament at the quarry, September the twentieth. Too cute. I yeah, can't raise, it. raise a tee for the cheese, and um, it <laughs> just keeps growing and growing. We have silent auction, helicopter ball drop. It's all on our website. Okay. Uh, but we'd love to get some more golfers too. We, We've definitely got more, but can't have enough golfers. 
Catherine right. Gordon, thank you so much. Well, the Chihuahua Derby is happening tomorrow, August 17th at Rotama Park. Gates open at 5.30. Kids 12 and under get in free. And for more information on the Chihuahua, the Chihuahua Derby and the Texas Chihuahua Rescue, go to our website, salive.com, and click the As Seen on SA Live tab.